Floss Tube. It is Tuesday the 30th of June. It's only quarter to eight in the morning. Um, so please excuse the hair. I've only just got out of the shower and I've got lockdown hair at the moment. My fringe is a mess, but the hairdressers are starting up again next week and my mobile hairdresser's booked in to come and see me on uh, next Thursday, I think. So I can get this sorted out. <laughs> and it's grown a lot as well. But anyway, that's by the by. Um, thank you for coming to watch me. Um, thank you for those of you who keep coming back each time. And I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you to any new subscribers. Um, different location this time because... Uh, what was my craft room is now all packed up in boxes and most of it sat in my mum's garage. Um, and the rest of the house is full of boxes. You're stood on boxes. <laughs> and um, I'm sat in the chair that was my, in my craft room, but it's now in my living room because I um, got rid of my settee because it, I need a new, I need a new living room suite. So it's, uh, it's been, well, been binned sort of. It's been broken up and gone to the tip. So yeah, we're in my new stitching spot. At, well, it's my existing stitching spot, but I was sat on a settee, not to... Anyway, I'm waffling. This is going to be a relatively short video again. Um, two in a row, you'll be pleased. Um, so yeah, so let's, let's get straight to it. I have done lots of stitching this past month because um, I'm really worked up at the moment, like with everything that's going on with the house and I'm like literally waiting for the phone to ring um, that's why I filmed the video early because I want my phone to be free <laughs> just in case I, I get the phone call just to let me know when I can move really so oh hey Charlie it's Charlie um, so I've kind of put like all my nervous energy into my needle really and I've been ch -ch 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 -ch, you know stitching like a mad woman when Charlie lets me in between cuddles hey Oh, and his girlfriend who's on the window just next to me is coming to have a look. I hope the lighting's going to be all right because it's a really dull and dreary day again today. Um, I've got my light on, like shining on me, so all the neighbours, will, if they're up and about this early, will be able to see what I'm doing, but never mind. Um, but yeah, it's like back to winter again at the moment. I've got the heating on and everything. I mean, last week we were baking in the hottest temperatures and this week we're freezing out with Charlie, Hey. Eh? And it's raining and windy and horrible. So, should we show some stitching? Aww. So first of all, I have a finish. And um, if you follow me on Instagram, um, you will have already seen it. But here is my finish. Ah. Oh, Charlie, you're in the way. <laughs> there we go. She's Mirabilia, Queen of Peace. And theoretically, she took four years to stitch, but that's because she sat for three and a half years in a project bag with a few stitches in her. <laughs> she actually stitched up really quickly. Um, but she's been 19 years in the making. I bought her about 19 years ago. And I saw her as a model stitch. But I'll show you close-up. I think I filmed a close-up video, but if not, I will. But you see, she's got some beads and treasures in her hair. I did the skin two over two because basically I'm too impatient to do one over one. And mum stitched loads of mirabilia. She's always done skin two over two. I've always done mine two over two and I think they look fine. So I just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> look at that pretty necklace with little treasures on. And look, even the dove has got beads on him. And then she's all beaded around the top of her bodice and all down her sleeve. And then the dress, you just can't see from in the photos and it's not really showing that well here. But these are all beads with uh, crinic in between with some treasures. And the ones that haven't got treasures are, are beads. It's, has that got beads in? Yeah, it has. They've all got beads in. But she is so sparkling. You can't can't really see from here. But then like down, like she's got some beads in there. And then the sash of her dress. You can see 
It's all beaded and crinic, beads all around the edge and all the way down with some crinic detailing. And then the bottom of her dress, you can see that detailing again. Well, there she is. She's making my arms ache. Mirabilia, Queen of Peace. So, yeah. She will be framed. Um, because my new house, when I get it all decorated, is going to be like grey and white. And she's predominantly grey. So she's going to go perfect in my new living room, isn't she, Charlie? So, um, so yeah, so I'm glad to, to get her stitch. And next Mirabilia I'm going to start, is, I think is going to be Enchanted Mermaid. Um, but I'm not starting her just yet. Um, so let's go on to the next one. This one looks like it's in my... Oh, I, forgot to, I always forget to tell you the fabric. That was 32 Count Murano. By chromatic alchemy called Polynesium. Yeah, Polynesium. And it's like um, a greeny grey mottle which just goes perfectly. I chose the fabric from the viewer because um, like we don't have any options really in this country to go and see hand dyed fabric in person. Um, so I chose I chose it using the viewer on um, you know on the internet and did a perfect job. This is Queen of Peace by Mirabilia, stitched on 32 count Murano um, by Chromatic Alchemy in the colourway Polynesium. And we're going to have a close up on her. So she's got a beautiful beaded and treasured crown. Skin is two over two because I can't be bothered doing one over one. <laughs> and uh, a lovely necklace with beads and treasures. Just go over to the dove, who's also got beads on him, and he's looking very elegant. She's got a beautiful beaded bodice, and the beads go down the arm of the dress. Beads and the flowers that hold her sash. First of all, we'll go down the dress, which is a mix of crinic beads and treasures. To the bottom of the dress where we can see this pretty detailing with beads and crinic. There's also beads at the bottom of the dress there and then the beads and the crinic and the detailing goes up the sash and beading all on the end of the sash. I just wish you could see how, how sparkly she is. But there she is. Queen of Peace by Mirabilia. I say so myself. So this is my Ever Tote bag. It was the Christmas special bag this past year. And this is holding Snow Village by Country Cottage Designs, which is stitched on 32 count Opal Murano called Cumulus. It's not the cord for fabric. I did get the cord for fabric, but I didn't like it. So, so this, I've actually had two new starts and two finishes since, since you've last seen it. So this is what it's looking like at the moment. And since you've last seen it, I've done the frozen hot chocolate and the, well, officially called the popsicle stand. But we don't call them popsicles in this country, we tend to call them ice lollies. So I just had to make it a stitch wider on either side and I couldn't put a space in between ice and lollies. But I did get it in, <laughs> ice lollies. So it's using mostly the cord for, um, oh sorry I've wobbled you, mostly the cord for um, threads. Apart from, I did change all the snowflakes to the, oh, my brain, it's, it's early in the morning, etoile, but I'm not that impressed with the white etoile, but I'm not going and changing them all now. And also, um, 
the white, it should have been blank, but I changed it to be 5200. But the rest of it's called for. And there we go. Now, I'm doing the auto ship program with Patchwork Rabbit. Um, and like I was, I did start about two months behind anyway, but then there was like a two month break um, with like COVID and everything. Um, she wasn't able to do the auto ship program. So that's why if you look at the Country Cottage um, like website, I think they've got like those ones out now, but I haven't yet had them. So, but yeah. So I am up to date with the um, uh, auto ship, even though I might not look up to date with the websites, but yeah, that is that whip. Next, I think I need to take this next one off the Q-snaps actually. Um, it's my temperature garden by Stitching Mummy here on Floss Tube and Etsy. Um, I'm doing the high-low version and I'm working this on 32 count, or is it, no, it's 28 count Opal Brittany by um, Jodry Designs. In the colourway, something about spring. I can't remember, I'm sorry, but it's pretty. It's like greens and yellows and, and, ve and very pretty. But I'm up to date with this. I've not stitched sort of like yesterday's petal because then um, it doesn't come out till about, the temperature doesn't come out till about 10 a.m. So, but that's where we are so far. Excuse all the, the wrinkles. And it's been a funny old summer, like as you can see with June. Where's June there? Like, starts there doesn't it it's been quite cool for the most like yellows and we even had a blue and then this past week we had some really hot weather and then it's gone cool again <laughs> and I think today's will be even cool because like I said I've got the heating on and the jacket on and everything so I'm going to stitch yesterday's in a bit and then tomorrow I'm going to stitch the next two months worth of um, like outlining well, there we go. So that's Temperature Garden by Stitching Mummy. And I'll put the links below and I'm doing the high-low version. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it again next year because I just thought it'd be really interesting to compare the two. I might buy the chart again, even though I've already got it, just because I always feel like, you know, you buy once, you stitch once. And to support our designers, you know, you, to me personally, unless it's out of print, I think you should buy it, but... That's just me. Uh, next one is my um, black work piece. It's um, the peppermint purple year long cell called the year, a year of black work. And it's a free one. Um, she does have a Facebook group where you can get the pattern from. I'm not on Facebook. Um, so she does do um, like a link um to a like a google file for those who aren't on facebook um but you have to email her for the link you know don't ask me for the link i can't give it you it's just because she likes to keep an eye on numbers but i'm up to date with this the next pattern will be coming out tomorrow but this is what it's like so far and close up this past month i've done i think those two and those two there. So that we're working in shades of blue at the moment. But it's really fun to do, really enjoying it. Brilliant pattern. She and if you check out her Etsy site, I've got um I'll put the link below. Just so I've got quite a few of her patterns to do. I've done I think this is my third one of hers. Um but the way she uses colour, it's it's fantastic she's but yeah but I know if you look on um <coughs> excuse me if you look on Instagram under the the hashtag peppermint purple year long sal um or if you look I assume on her Facebook group um people are doing all sorts of like color conversions with it and there's some amazing ones out there I think one of my favorites is by 
um, Stitcher here on Floss Tube called Tess. Um, I'll link her Floss Tube down below. And she's sort of doing it twice, but the second one she's doing like upside down next to it to make a square. And it's it's really good the way that, that she's working it. Um, but I'll put a link to her YouTube below and you can go and see hers as well. Um, but yeah, that's that. Uh, and then the last the last uh, piece I've been working on, you're going to be pretty amazed when you see my progress. For this one, I will put a progress pick in from where I was last time, if I took one, I hope I took one. Um, but this is my Hade, my mini Hade. It's um, Mini Butterfly Pink by a designer <laughs> and charted by uh, Michelle at Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, I hadn't worked on it for a while and then, so this past two weeks in particular, I've just been stitching like a crazy woman. Um, cause like I say, I, I put my nerves into my needle and my needle just flies, but yeah, but I'll put a picture of what she will look like in here. And this is what she looked like last time. And this is what she looks like now. Oh, look at her. <laughs> so since you last saw her, I finished off the edge there. And then I've done a full page here with a partial page underneath it. That took me a week just to do that one bit. And then this is another page with a partial page beneath it, which I've nearly finished. Um, but when I look on Pattern Keeper, let me see percentage wise what I've done. 86.19% so she's getting there only got that bit to do and if I carry on <coughs> excuse me <coughs> I've got a frog in my throat this morning um if I carry on stitching like I am it should be done in a few weeks <laughs> stitching like my mum at the moment you know what my mum's like um when I move like I say I'm going to be around the corner from my mum <coughs> because I'll be able to get out of my scooter to see her, I will be able to film at her house and show you what she's doing because, um, yeah, you know, mum being mum, she's got loads done uh, since you've seen her. But that's it. Um, haul. Nothing. Can you believe it? Um, I have bought two little patterns. Um... I've ordered them from Casa Sonina, but they need to come in from like America and then get to me from Italy. So um, it'll be a while before I get them, but they are only teeny tiny patterns. Um, but I've bought nothing because I need to save my pennies because I've got lots to do in my new house. So lots of work that needs doing. The first thing being I need a new Casio. So I can't have the cats not having an outdoor space. So, so yeah, so that's it. 16 minutes wow <laughs> but yeah nothing else to tell you say life update wise just waiting for this uh for all the the legal stuff with the house to go through and and then i can move but nothing else just been sat here <laughs> um packing a lot my carer emma has been amazing because with my chronic fatigue i can't just like sit and spend a day packing or whatever i have to do it in short blasts really so twice a week we've been doing about an hour and a half a time that's about all i can manage um so like we started early um you know like as soon as i knew i was moving i started packing um just because i knew it would take so long because i can only do a small amount at a time um but emma's been amazing because like with the whole covid situation i've not been able to have anybody here to help dad has started coming over now lockdown is easing um but dad's not well like with his chest since his cancer treatments and everything so 
he can't really do anything for me. Mum's not been able to get over because, um, like, you're only meant to use public transport if it's essential. Um, and also, we don't, you know, she doesn't want to come on public transport. Me and my brother don't want to go in on public transport because, no. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, so she's not been coming over. Like, my brother can't really get over here much because he lives, like, an hour away. And in, in the UK, like, an hour away is a long way away. I know it's not in like other countries like Australia and America an hour away is nothing really but to us it's it's a long way. Um like I think it's an eighty mile round trip, you know, for him to come here and back. He is popping over at some point because um there's loads of his stuff in in the loft here that I was storing for them for him and my sister in law, so he's gotta come and get those and he's gonna take my TVs down and um he's taking one of my TVs actually. And there's somebody about to walk past the window and I'm going to feel really self-conscious. Yeah, God, no. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, so that's it. So, just waiting to move, aren't we, Charlie? Charlie's still here. So, I shall drink my cup of tea whilst I upload this. A little stitch for chocolate. Fortunately, I have super fast um, internet and it uploads in no time, which I'm quite lucky about, especially with the mean shorter videos. So, hopefully next month I will be in the new house, in my new craft room. Well, the craft room probably won't be put together for a while because I'm still going to have to use this craft chair in my living room because it'll be a while before I get a new, a new suite. Because um, I've got to get the catio first because priorities sort the cats out before myself um but yeah and who knows if we've got nice weather i might be able to film from my new garden because i've got a pretty little garden so with a vegetable patch i'm gonna kind of grow my own veg so so i shall leave you to it hope everybody's keeping well and keeping sane you know through all this i mean i'm lucky that i mean i spend 99.9% .9 of my time at home anyway, although that might change once I move. And um, being at home doesn't bother me, even even when I used to be well and, you know, well enough to be able to go out. I've always been a home bird, always. You know, if, even as a teenager, I, I wasn't out gallivanting with my friends. I used to be in my room cross-stitching, <laughs> watching films. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy being at home and you know, I'm lucky in that way because I know a lot of people are going stir crazy, but yeah, but hopefully lockdown's beginning to ease, although I know Leicester's just been locked down again because they've had an outbreak there. Um, but I think it's going to be a while before everything's back to normal. So yeah, I hope you're all keeping sane, you're all keeping well and looking after yourselves and looking after your family and your loved ones. And don't forget if you've got like elderly neighbours, you know, or vulnerable people, you know, who are living near you, don't forget to go and check on them. That's very important. Um, but yeah, I shall see you next month, hopefully in a new house. So, bye.